Please type your name first. Then, you may ask me questions, or click on a keyword. If you wish to test this software's smarts, type in the words teach me. Hi bud. Okay bud, let's play. Which filter are you thinking about? Type U for understanding. Scott for sustainable competitive advantage. ADM for able and trustworthy management. Or MOS for margin of safety. Understand the business and its products. Our goal is to acquire either part or all of businesses that we believe we understand, that of good, sustainable underlying economics, and that are run by managers whom we like, admire and trust. In the final chapter of The Intelligent Investor, Ben Graham wrote, confronted with a challenge, to distill the secret of sound investment into three words, we venture the motto, margin of safety. Many years after reading that, I still think those are the right three words. The failure of investors to heed this simple message caused them staggering losses. I looked for something that gives the company an enduring competitive advantage. Both Coke and Gillette have actually increased their worldwide shares of market in recent years. The might of their brand names, the attributes of their products, and the strength of their distribution systems give them an enormous competitive advantage, setting up a protective moat around their economic castles. The average company, in contrast, does battle daily without any such means of protection. One question I always ask myself, in appraising a business is how I would like, assuming I had ample capital and skilled personnel, to compete with it. He'd rather wrestle Grizzlies than compete with Mrs. B and her progeny. They buy brilliantly, they operate at expense ratios competitors don't even dream about, and they then pass on to their customers much of the savings. It's the ideal business, one built upon exceptional value to the customer that in turn, translates into exceptional economics for its owners. Its dividend policy is often reported to shareholders, but seldom explained. A company will say something like, our goal is to pay out 40% to 50% of earnings and to increase dividends at a rate at least equal to the rise in the CPI. And that's it. No analysis will be supplied as to why that particular policy is best for the owners of the business. Yet, allocation of capital is crucial to business and investment management. Because it is, we believe managers and owners should think hard about the circumstances under which earnings should be retained, and under which they should be distributed. The first point to understand, is that all earnings are not created equal. In many businesses particularly those, that have high asset slash profits ratios, inflation causes some or all of the reported earnings to become ersatz. The ersatz portion, let's call these earnings restricted, cannot, if the business is to retain its economic position, be distributed as dividends. Were these earnings to be paid out, the business would lose ground in one or more of the following areas, its ability to maintain its unit volume of sales, its long-term competitive position, its financial strength. No matter how conservative its payout ratio, a company that consistently distributes restricted earnings is destined for oblivion, unless equity capital is otherwise infused. Restricted earnings are seldom valueless to owners, but they often must be discounted heavily. In effect, they are conscripted by the business, no matter how poor its economic potential. If you are right about a business, whose value is largely dependent on a single key factor that is both easy to understand and enduring, the payoff is the same, as if you had correctly analyzed an investment alternative characterized by constantly shifting and complex variables. Our goal is to acquire either part or all of businesses that we believe we understand, that of good, sustainable underlying economics, and that are run by managers whom we like, admire and trust.